Hello, this is a picture that I've done for Halloween. It is our Halloween event, I think, in the game. It's uh, the oncoming storm of some aliens coming to visit humanity. And these aliens may or may not be friendly. I'm guessing not, given that they've timed it for Halloween. So we've got this backstory where you've got your mad scientist and he wants to blow up all the Thargoids. Now the Thargoids are your classic alien baddies. So he's, he's created his monster alien killing device and everyone got involved. It's been a long story and there's like been lots of sub stories within it and tons of human interest stuff and activities that you can get involved with along the way. It's been two years of this. And uh, the culmination has been this Thargoid killing device, the Proteus Wave. And now the Proteus Wave, of course, was a disastrous failure and hasn't killed off the Thargoids, the key baddies in the game, amazingly. So now what we appear to have done is wound them up and they're a bit angry and they're sending in reinforcements. Now these reinforcements appear to be to the uneducated eye, which mine certainly is. A huge, great big comet-sized spiralling nightmare stars that are travelling towards human-occupied space at quite a fast rate. Some significant speed. I mean, this these were first discovered in August and now one of them is about 600 light years from the bubble now. They were discovered right out past Barnard's Loop, which is quite some distance away. And then gradually, as the weeks have gone on, more and more of them have been discovered. They show up as signal sources when you scan a system. So you'll scan your star and you'll scan any planets, and then you'll have these leftover signals. And it won't be something within the system. It'll just be these stray random mystery signals whilst you're in your scanner you can kind of look around and then if you're looking in the right place which people seem to be able to do amazingly i mean i can when i know where i'm looking but people have found them this way because if you're looking in the right direction you can hear them you can hear them whilst in the scanner they sound like the inside of a Thargoid cave. Now, I've been in Thargoid caves and they've got these kind of like dishwasher hoses, basically big old ribbed kind of flexi hoses all the way around the walls. They're kind of organic trachea like things that pump caustic liquids all around the bases. And in the ceiling, you've got the the egg pods all hanging down like in the film Alien sort of thing. And it sounds like gloop moving around and strange skittering malevolent monsters. And, and basically it sounds really creepy and horrible and spooky. Yeah, the people like the Canon who just seem to be able to code computers and use maths, which is just, yeah, it's, uh, uh, which is why I don't do that. <laughs> I have been out to quite a few of them because uh, following the news as it were because I help out with the news the space news and uh, so this this is my uh, diamondback actually uh, in the system which the stargoid <laughs> which the anomaly the stargoid is in and I thought it was really funky because it's got my um, it's got my Halloween scratches decal on it and it's also got the warning text uh, on my hull to sort of make an amusing visual connection <laughs> and, and and if you look carefully you can just see that uh, my spaceship's been out there long enough to wear off a bit of the paint so basically now we're just waiting waiting for halloween to find out what these are and if they get here maybe they're not maybe they're not baddies they are and maybe they're not thargoids they will be and maybe they won't start destroying stations and and laying waste to our planets. But I think it's going to be quite exciting finding out what they do do. So that's the next bit, isn't it? And I'll probably have to draw some pictures of that. That sounds like great fun. Anyway, I, I think this. I think that might be it for this picture. So thank you. Thanks for watching and uh, goodbye.